A pair of thieves accused of threatening workers at several businesses with gas bombs are behind bars this afternoon. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in Pembroke Pines where police caught the couple. Gary? Uh, Broward detectives came here to the Camden apartment complex in Pembroke Pines nabbing this duo dubbed the gas bomb robbers. A, there are video, security video of them appeared on television and just hours later their own family members turned them in. These two self-professed heroin and cocaine addicts in the slammer today after relatives saw them on TV and turned them in. Security video shows a man and woman enter a Denny's on Commercial Boulevard in Oakland Park Sunday morning. A clerk empties the cash drawer amid a strong smell of gasoline. The man carried a squirt bottle he said was filled with gas and brandished a lighter threatening to set the clerk afire. Imagine somebody walking in and threatening to set you on fire if you don't give them what they want. I mean, this is uh, a really horrific act to threaten. Later Sunday, the same pair robs another Denny's in Hallandale, this time producing a note saying they had guns and gas bombs. Later, they shoplift 40 bucks worth of items from Medania Beach 7-Eleven. Good security videos prompted relatives of 27-year-old Robert Golden and 20-year-old Tiffany spears Patowski to call police. The so-called gas Gas bomb robbers were picked up at this apartment complex early this morning in Pembroke Pines. It is not clear what relationship these suspects have to this apartment complex. It's not thought that they live here, perhaps a friend or relative does. Police say that both uh, confessed, saying that their crimes were driven by addiction to coke heroin and flaca, an LSD type drug that makes users behave in a well crazy manner. This fellow Robert Golden has a long rap sheet arrests including drug charges, grand theft and elderly exploitation. He and his co-defendant are locked up today. We're live in Pembroke Pines, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.